Automotive Nation, Nick Parr here with you on Grand Rapids, Michigan at Spectrum Lanes, introducing the new Black Venom. Really excited about this ball. There's already been a lot of hype behind it because people have been having success with it out on the PBA Tour, and I expect that to continue throughout the year. This is just gonna be a great staple in our line. It's gonna complement Venom Shock and all the Venoms, honestly, very well. Um, we're using the Gear APG core, which is found in the Coral Venom, so it's that asymmetric version of the gear. We've wrapped it around the Leverage MFS Solid cover stock. The Leverage uh, cover stock was actually found on the Jackal Ambush, so we've kind of modified that to make it a little bit weaker for this Venom core. I think this is gonna complement the Venom line very well. Um, it's gonna be the earliest of the three, and it's gonna be able to give you a little bit more control, and you're gonna be able to see a lot more motion down lane from a solid compared to, you know, maybe that uh, Coral, which is a little bit cleaner in the oil and maybe a more, a little bit erratic. So if you need something a little bit smoother and controllable, this is your ball. So the first black venom you're gonna see me throw is my pinup layout. This is 55 by five and a half by 35. This one's gonna actually flare a little bit more in the mid lane for me. So it's gonna be able to control that shape in the middle and then still be a nice continuous motion down lane. And the second black venom you're gonna see me throw is my pin down layout. This is 45 by five and three quarters by 65. So the mass bias is kicked out a little bit more. I wanna see a little bit more traction because it is a little bit weaker and it's gonna flare less in the front. So I need that a little bit more stronger mass bias position just to help it get around the corner down lane. Split the eight, nine. Venom Shock allows me to play a similar part of the lane, however, it comes off the friction much different compared to the asymmetry found in the Black Venom. When it sees friction, it stands up pretty hard and forces me further left. The Venom Recoil is actually the closest to the Black Venom just because it is a solid cover along with the Black Venom. This black one is a little bit cleaner, so it stores a little bit more energy and a little bit stronger comparatively off the friction. The Coral Venom allowed me to actually get further left but be steeper on the lane, throwing it into the friction because it is a cleaner cover. It doesn't dig nearly as much in the oil compared to the Black Venom, so I had to use the friction a little bit more. 